Hello and welcome to part 5 of IE series. In this particular part, we will shed a light on the key success factors of successful industrial engineers and impact on modern enterprises. Let's dive into it. In order to understand the subject, three major dimensions including an IE impact on modern enterprises, followed by key success factors of IE and key threats to IE are discussed. Let us discuss each dimension one by one. The role and career of the industrial engineer in the modern organization can best be summed up the by word diversity, for there is hardly a profession, much less a discipline within engineering that is so broadly defined. In the recent survey of top executive management, key functions associated with the high impact areas of industrial engineers are mapped out. Having an innovation mindset that practices the essence of process optimization, automation and operational sustainability are found to be the four key parameters that must be aligned for the great impact of IE. While the role of industrial engineers can and does vary widely across modern organizations, certain factors are evident in those organizations in which industrial engineers have enjoyed much success. The following are several key success factors for ensuring the effectiveness of the industrial engineer's role. Firstly, today's industrial engineer should be open to new assignments and look for opportunities to contribute in new ways. Secondly, ability to explain to higher management how these theoretical IE concepts translate into bottom line value for the organization. Thirdly, system thinking is a skill that every industrial engineer should possess. Understanding how a change can impact an organization is essential in truly having a positive impact on the bottom line. Fourthly, to understand current processes, an industrial engineer must live the day-to-day -day reality of the shop floor. Only a true comprehension of current reality will enable the best process improvement alternative. Lastly, the ability to see current reality and generate new ideas is what brings the most value to any changing manufacturing or service organization. On the other hand, a number of potential threats to the success of the industrial engineer exist that can come from within or without the organization. Some are as follows. Firstly, industrial engineering is a discipline that needs to be continually sold. Industrial engineers have been grappling with the profession's image for the last 70 years, as evidenced by letters to the editor in the first issue of the Journal of Industrial Engineering in June 1949 about the necessity of selling industrial engineering. Their organizations, industrial engineers need to establish a reputation for recruiting and developing top talent. Secondly, if the industrial engineer's role within an organization does not adapt to the company and continue to serve the greatest need it most likely will not thrive, and potentially, may not survive. Thirdly, many IE tools are being used as different professional designations. With the passage of time, the failure to embrace the latest technological trends in escalating the operation efficiency and effectiveness can wreak havoc for any IE. We hope you would have enjoyed the lesson. In our next lesson, we will shed a light on the performance attributes of IE Manager. If you are an industrial professional and interested in internationally accredited training, then feel free to check the links in the description below, as we offer 20 plus pieces of training in Lean Six Sigma, ISO Lead Auditors, Advanced Data Analysis, etc. domains. All of our trainings are accredited by the International Lean Six Sigma Institute England and Exemplar Global United States of America and Council of Six Sigma USA.